Hello again, everybody. I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the Elvis Archival Preservation Society. If you're a big Elvis fan like us, this is your society, our society, the EAP Society. Um, you see all these dolls and all <laughs> these various things around us today. We are going to uh, have a very special uh, edition of Is It Elvis by looking at figures and busts and statues and all this kind of stuff and decanters and saying um, this is probably part of a multi billion part series yes of does it look like elvis uh members will have a uh, chance to uh a little bit of commentary on one that is uh particularly close to home because i was a part of it um but that's just for members we're saving that for you guys so for everybody else what are we diving into well there has been a long history of attempts to depict Elvis in many mediums in a three-dimensional form. From 1956. From 1956 onward. We have dolls, busts. We have uh, action figures. We have um, decanters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are lots and lots of attempts to capture Elvis in a three-dimensional form, and it is a very difficult thing yeah. to do. And the 3D puzzle, which is actually quite good. We're going to have some fun with oh, that. Oh, the 3D puzzle bust. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be one we're going to have to definitely talk about. So yeah. today, we're just going to take them one by one, talk about what they get right, what they could have done better, maybe, yep. or differently, and um, what we think about them. Yeah. So we're going to start with uh, one of the early ones, which I get a kick out of. This was my favorite when it came out. Yes. Just because I love the 1254 pose, and that's kind of an attempt to do the 1254 outfit. Yep. Absolutely. And I believe, see, yeah, this is called Teen Idol. And I love that they're going with, it's like, uh, this. Always, I always call this the Hayride. Yeah. The Hayride figure. I thought, I always thought this was good. These are actually really well done. There was one that came out that was uh, based on Aloha that was a, an extremely limited run. They're very expensive. Very rare. Very rare. But cool. One of the things that I was just noticing about these when we were looking at them yeah. is, uh, you know, generally speaking, my go-to reference for a doll that really just nails it is the mm -hmm. World Doll from 1984. Yes. The sculpt on that is, it's good, and it's good from about every angle. Yeah, it's, it's immaculate. A, a lot of busts will get Elvis from one or two angles, but they won't exactly get him in the round. Now that I'm looking at these dolls up close... Mm -hmm. I think the sculpts are better than the paint jobs. Yeah. I think yeah. if uh, you had someone who is a, a doll painting specialist, they could quite profitably uh, wipe the the face paint off of this and make something that look much, much more like Elvis. Yeah. Grab the grab the 68 comeback yeah. one too, because we can show all three of these together. They all sort of, I don't want to say suffer from the same problem, Kinda, they kind of do, and I, I understand what they were. I understand what they were going for. They were going for, uh, they were going for trying to sort of recreate what his face would look like under like the stage lighting, right? Which or, you wouldn't get with, which you wouldn't get if you're like have the lights on in your living room, right? What what he might have looked like uh, in Barbie grammar, you know, Barbie face yeah, grammar, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 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 what I mean is like you know like the the extra. The, the extra shading Little under the eyes. The cheeks, yeah. yeah. And I mean, they try to do it in red, but like, for instance, like this one and especially the 68 one. Uh, yeah. They're trying to do a little bit of the rouge, but they're also, they're also, it's, it's an attempt at shading uh, that. So that way he looks like he would on stage when he's in your living room lighting. He's clearly wearing, uh, wearing makeup. He's clearly wearing, well, you know, <laughs> I can't complain about that. So am I. And there are there are a good number of people who uh, that's what they do is they'll just take a figure the the Tonner dolls of Elvis and this is kind of interesting they there there are a few people who have taken the Tonner uh, Edward Cullen from Twilight doll interesting and made one of the best Elvis likenesses I've ever seen <laughs> I mean it's crazy it's freaky it looks like uh, right around girl happy. That's interesting. It's cool. Well, uh, well, if we can if we can find a picture of it, we'll put it up. But I remember see I rem there was there were a couple of magazines that did that, 
and they showed that and it was just like that's an Edward Cullen doll. It's just like <laughs> and that they said painted to look like Elvis, and it does. It's yeah. Speaking I, of Robert Pattinson, would, would have made an amazing Elvis. I yeah. I really like the packaging with the Elvis Presley. On yes, top. I remember one th- another thing that I was a little bit disappointed with when these came out, or one thing that I was disappointed with, is that this has got the Jailhouse Rock clothes, but the hairstyle is not right for Jailhouse Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think this could maybe be like Ed Sullivan era Elvis. Yeah. yeah. You know, Love Me Tinder era. Yeah. Not Jailhouse Rock. Not Jailhouse Rock. Yeah. Well, I think that part of it might have been uh, the limitations on the, the level of sculpt that could be done. Because in order to do the dolls at real justice, you'd have to do Elvis's hair was actually, no, you know what this is? This is almost, this is like a little higher 61. It could be. Yeah, you could make uh, Frank yeah. Sinatra special Elvis yeah, with that. you could make Frank Sinatra special Elvis. But a lot of times Elvis's hair was a little more unkempt. And uh, so it would be hard to do in this sort of cartoon style something that sort of wild. It would be amazing. I mean, I would love to see these. I would love to see the people that sculpted these like go for something maybe a little more realistic. Yeah. Uh, especially with the head sculpt. It would, I, I think it could have been some of the best. I, I might've been on par with the world doll. Could have been. Yeah. And one thing that you have to say about the world doll and the uh, Eugene dolls that came out around the same time is they had a much more subtle paint. They yeah. let the sculpt do most of the work. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that was, I think that paid dividends. Yeah. I think so too. But if anybody out there, if you know anybody who has repainted these, let us know. We'd love to see. Uh, uh, you know, s- send us a link to the pictures. We'd love to see it, and we'll. Uh, and if it's okay with you guys, uh, if you've done those paints, we'll share them. Uh, we'll let other people see them. I think it's pretty cool. So, and these are, um, you know, these are not that expensive. Uh, not that expensive on eBay, but they're they're pretty special. And in a couple of cases, there's there are, there's no other figure with this outfit. There's no other figure with this outfit. So in some cases, oh, there's no other figure with this. Oh, outfit. sorry, yeah. sorry, no other figure yeah. with these two. Sorry, I'm yeah, I'm thinking left to right as if we did it this way, but we did it this way. And I do like the pictures. I do like the pictures that they used. Oh yeah, the packaging is great on the back. I was so excited when these came out. Oh yeah. What year did these come out? Oh, uh, let's find out. Let's see, 1993. 93. So that would have been 10. Yep, I was 13. I was 13, uh, picked up my Super Nintendo not too long before that, went into uh, Toys R Us and was like, Elvis figures into Toys R Us? Yes, please. I, I think it's funny that uh, they've got, this one is called 68 Special, that one is Teen Idol, and this one is called Jailhouse Rock 45 RPM. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can tell that, you know, the people that did these, to a degree, they, they, they weren't completely, um, they had some sense of Elvis. like. The microphone and like microphone's good. Yep. The guitars are basically right. Basically like this is right. Not as big as an actual J two hundred, but it looks it looks pretty good. Well, they were probably also limited on uh, how close they could get the guitars to look. They got them pretty close, considering yeah. they really did. Yeah, because I mean, if they got them any if they got them any closer than that, then they probably would have heard from Gibson. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, but still, considering. Considering that they probably were limited in that, it's it's pretty awesome. I mean, if you consider it just this is Barbie language of a J two hundred, yeah, it works totally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's not technically Barbie because this is Hasbro, right? This is yeah. Hasbro. Yeah. All right. Yep. And uh, I'm excited about Hasbro because uh, they made one of the most amazing uh, Ghostbusters uh, proton pack replicas. Oh yeah. I I remember uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. You showed me. I have, I have one, I have one coming next year. So the, uh, so we want to talk about this little guy next. Yeah. So this is part of the Barbie loves Elvis series of figures. Um, so like this looks, this looks like a, caricature look kind of looks like the elvis stamp to me a little bit maybe maybe a little more realistic than the elvis stamp um this does not look like a 68 comeback special elvis and there's a reason this is exactly the same head sculpt as the barbie loves elvis doll that is in the gold lame 
And what Mattel decided to do was add some extra paint deco. Um, in some cases, weird downward things to simulate hair. Uh, so that way the sideburns are, because if you see the sideburns actually stop in the 1957 length. And uh, yeah, if, if for a 57 Elvis, it looks great. Um, and then, so it, it yeah. So when you get really close to it, it looks like uh, it, it looks like if somebody was really sloppy with the hair dye. Yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah, because it stops here and then they just paint down. It is a good it is a good basic sculpt. It is. I don't think it's quite as good as the Hasbro's. No, um, I, I agree. But it's it's workable. You could probably try to repaint one of these too. One of the hardest things for sculptors to get is a smiling Elvis. I find. Yeah, and they they have like. When you see the Barbie, when you see the actual Barbie loves Elvis one, it, it is it is quite good. Um, but uh, in Barbie, especially in Barbie language, there's a lot of Barbie dolls. Like the, the the Twilight Barbie dolls are atrociously grotesque. You know the thing is though, I think this really could have worked for the '68 if they had just painted the uh, painted the sideburns within the lines of the '57 and extended it maybe a little bit. Right. Because it's not dissimilar right. to the 68 style. It's mm -hmm. just they overpainted it. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they tried to get it. They tried to make it. They tried to get the face shape closer right. just by just painting in the lines. And it doesn't quite work. I will say, and then they, they continued to use this face for the um, the army. Mm. Uh, but what they did is they then, then because they knew they had to, they they changed the head. Gotcha. They, they just they kept the face and changed the rest of the head. Uh, and then they took this and actually did add on for the Aloha. That is nicely sculpted hair, I will say. It is. It is. They did a really good. I mean, overall, they did a really good job. It's one of the best sculpts of detail in hair. It's a pretty good sculpt. I think this, like, I think this one could be repainted too. It, yeah, but I think there's like something about the eye area. Like maybe this part of his head is too wide, or the eyes you are see? too far apart. There's something that I don't like as much as the Hasbro ones. Yeah, the eyes are a little too far apart. Yep, the eyes are a little too far apart, and maybe the nose could be a little more narrow. Yeah, I don't mind the nose. I think yeah. the nose is fine. No, I mean just yeah. but, but those couple of things might make a difference. Sure, yeah. You know? uh, because the eye, yeah, the eyes are definitely too far apart because yeah. they don't meet the they don't meet the nose at all. But you're right because like this, uh, his nose should should look a little narrower for the uh, '68 special when yeah. his face is sort of settled. This would look good for like if you wanted to do a '55 promo shot, Elvis. You know? Yeah. Well, like I said. Uh, we should see, you know, we'll have to, maybe we'll do an addendum to this showing like the 57. Yeah. The, the, the 57 Barbie Loves Elvis doll is actually very good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's really, and it, it, it is exactly the same sculpt. <laughs> it, they just, just with, with the original paint job. And, and also because on here, the eyebrows are just painted in. Right. So they did a different, it's a different paint. Absolutely. And then the other 68 is this guy this is i mean as far as like the detail and like the hand positioning and he's got a, he's got a pick in his hand and all this stuff pretty cool the stretch and the leather with the pants and the and the top and everything um yeah uh and i i see what they're going for in the face uh oh oh it does move okay oh cool so yeah and and his is uh his midsection does his midsection does turn and you can lift <laughs> this up so it's, uh, you know, and they do, you know, and there's detail. There's a, zip, you know, the boots have a zipper. This is more accurate in a lot of different ways. The hair looks good on that. The hair looks very good. This is, this is, this is detail work. This is hair detail work. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's a pretty good likeness of Elvis. Yeah. I would say, um, and again, this gets into the very, the subtleties of uh, painting versus sculpt. I think the painting is okay on this. Mm -hmm. um, there's something weird going on in the transition between the uh, forehead and nose. Like his nose looks a little pointy or his, 
I think it's because yeah. the space is scrunched up in the yeah, which is it's always harder to sculpt people when their faces are scrunched up. So, yeah. I, it's pretty good. It's not exactly yeah. Elvis, but it's you and can tell who it's supposed to be cer- from certain angles, especially like if you're just just behind, right? And so you just see in the face. It's actually really, it's actually really good. But you know, yeah, that yeah. angle right there is really good. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was thinking too. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, so those are just a few. There are so many 68 comeback figures and statues and, and, and things like that. Okay, we're not going to take this guy out of the box. We're just going to show you. This is, um, you know, I've seen worse. Honestly, like this is another example of the painting being worse than the sculpt. Yeah. 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 But I, you know what? In this case, at least it's 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 more subtle. All right, look at that head sculpt, just the sculpt, and tell me what year you see. Um, let's see. I I see more sixty like, like Timex. Exactly, sixty one is what I'm thinking. But here's the thing, the gold jacket wouldn't be inaccurate there. True, it still works. It still works. Yep. Yeah, because he, and he's wearing the black pants, and uh, yeah, but yeah, it's this is uh, this is one of those Christmas doll things that sings, and uh, I mean, but the eyes are definitely odd. Yeah, the way that they chose to paint it is not my favorite. Yeah, this this looks like this is almost like if a young Vernon was like cosplaying as his kid. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. It's not a terrible, terrible um, sculpt. The mouth is not marvelous, but... Uh, if they'd spent a little more time on a paint job, I think this could have been remarkably better. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing what, you know... Well, it's amazing what makeup can do, so it's definitely amazing what a, make- what a, what a paint job, what a different paint job can do. Um, and what's, what's interesting in some cases is how good something can look with no paint at all. Uh, we're going to get to the better example of that first, but because initially this was about busts, so um, yes. this is a non-busted bust. Um, the And I say non-busted because there are, th- th- this is pretty decent. There are certain lighting, certain lighting conditions and certain angles that are pretty good. This is supposed to be like a 1956 Elvis, but it certainly to me looks like a 19, say, looks like a 1961, uh, like mid, like something, the hair looks like something for everybody with 1957 sideburns. I see in this bust a 1980s Rick Nelson. Close to Elvis. Well, yes, that too. Not exactly right. The nose is a little too pointy. Yep. The eyes are not horrible. No. They could be better. Uh, the mouth is not bad. No. Nope. something a little. And and and, the... and the cheek the the cheekbone into the sides of the nose into the mouth that section is 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 pretty good. I I, I think his uh, the angles of his face are a little too soft. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it looks more like Ricky Nelson to me. It does. Yeah, I, I have I, one I, of those two though. I, as, yeah. as a matter of fact, I have the exact same two busts in my room. Yeah, that I saw when I walked on the set for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this. Uh, which one do we want to? I guess we could start. Yeah, start here, and then we'll go. This, in our opinion, is as far as the dolls are concerned. This is by far. This is the bar. This, yes. Th- this is the entire bar. This is uh, one of the world dolls from 84. The one with real hair. It's hard to keep his hair Elvis shaped. It is. But the facial proportions are dead on. Yeah. This looks like Elvis, and it looks like Elvis in the round. It does. There's really not an angle that doesn't look like Elvis. Yeah. And that's very hard to do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is just insane. Like, it looks good. It just gives you that vibe. And and honestly, I think about this and the other world dolls that have the sculpted hair, I think if I were to guess, I would guess 
the models for both of these, the sculptures, were based on photos from the 69 press conference. Yes. You can get that precise because it's yep. that good. Yep, yep, yep. And I mean, but geez, I mean, just like, this is so good. This is so good, it evokes a feeling looking at it. Yeah, sure. I mean, it just makes you smile looking at it. And um, like, uh, and and the other thing is, the it's also the way the eyebrows are painted. It's the way the eyes are painted. Yeah, the the paint job is really good. Like, if you want to do a stylized doll, like like I say, a Barbie grammar version of Elvis, yeah. that's the way you do it. That's yeah. dead on. And, and this is this is yeah, this, and this is high style for that because even seeing like looking at it from the sides, you get the impression that he's looking at something. Yeah, exactly. Like, like sometimes they get sometimes the the eyes can look a little dead. Right, like they're not they, like. They're looking, but not the not, not like they're looking at something. This it looks like you know it looks like Elvis is looking at something and it's making him smile. Yeah, exactly. We've all seen that expression exactly on film, on photos. Yeah, and now in a world doll. Now in a world doll, <laughs> which I still don't understand why this uh, this eagle has a cape. Yeah, the, this is a sort of a of a mashup between the American eagle and the Aloha eagle. Yeah. Yep, and it's funny you can see. I must have grabbed. I must have grabbed this side more because the the gold is gone, and you can see the the outline of the ah yes yeah. Whereas this side still has the gold. Yeah, but it's a good looking doll. It is, and you know, and the crazy thing is, these are some of the best. These are some of the best figures, and and they're not that expensive. I will say, eBay. in terms of uh, noticing detail. Like the finer shape of his nose, where it has just a uh -huh. hint of a little bit of a bump in the middle. Yep, it's just dead on. It is. That it's just dead on, and the way that the way the cheeks curve into the when he smiles, it, it curve into like the dimple and and just like, I, I yeah, there is just not enough that can be said. Like the um, uh, when we when we talk about the world dolls, we'll talk about the lady that that uh, that sculpted them. She was. She was in the Barbie world for yeah, a long she's time. Yeah, quite an accomplished uh, yeah. sculptor. And she said that doing the sculpt for these was the hardest thing she's she had ever had to do. Yeah. Sadly, she is no longer living because we would absolutely have just, loved to have heard that story. Uh, yes, <laughs> I would love to have talked with her because it just yes, it was just worse. That lady needed to be on like a million Elvis things. She needs her own stamp. All right. This bad boy. Here, if you could set this back. Here, yeah. That'd be great. This is really unique. And uh, this is really unique. I, I personally love this thing. I think it's, I think it looks, uh, it's not as, not as much as the world doll, but I think as far as something a little larger looking like Elvis from just about any angle. It's dang close. Yeah, it does. It does a good job from most angles. Yes, there are occasionally angles you can find that don't look like Elvis, but they're rare. They are rare. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, you know what's funny is like uh, I think it's clearly uh, intended to be a '50s thing. Yeah, but in his 57. face, in his face, I see like a like a '65 era. Kind of, there's I, well, a fullness to the cheeks. Well, so. yeah, I think that's true. I think that's partially because of the hair coming down too. Right. Because you, you know, I think this is supposed to be sixty one or sorry, fifty six. I think this is supposed to be no fifty seven. Uh, see where the sideburns cut off. I think this is uh, like the Jailhouse Rock, um, the shorter hair mm. for Jailhouse Rock. I think that's what this is. The one thing that's really cool about the three D puzzles is because they are. I think there are like sticks or something that are inside that it that sits on to kind of keep it in place. What was kind of cool about that is the fact that you can you can turn his head. And if you want, you can make him talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a kid, I got the biggest kick out of the fact that, you know, you could just kind of like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that's cool. I don't know what these are going for. Um, I don't know what these are going for on eBay now, but I mean, seriously, uh, if you want, uh, if you want something that just is kind of a neat conversation piece, um, you could do a lot worse than this. True. 
They make a Jar Jar Binks too for somebody that the five people that want that. Um, the um, but uh, but this Elvis one is especially good. And you were talking about like the bump in the nose. Yeah, you can kind of see it there too. Yep, just a little bit. Yep, this has that. The uh, the lips a little better when after I've you know unscrewed that up. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. This is for me it like with uh, now after after uh, after John Michael pointed out a couple things I I did notice those. But still, as far as something that looks like a 1972 Elvis in the face, like the head proportion notwithstanding, because it's a you know, decanter. It's a decanter. Uh, this is, for me, there's been nothing closer to a not as caricaturized version of Elvis's face. Yeah, it looks good. It's it's clearly a little stylized. Um, my one issue with it that I pointed out to Jamie is that uh, I think his face is a little too large for the size of the head that they have. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the features are really good, like yeah. the cheeks, the lips, the nose are dead on. The eyes are good. They might might have gone just a slight bit heavy on the brow, but it doesn't detract. It looks good. And I, I think the reason they did that is so that it casts really pronounced shadows on the eyes to give it. It does those really dark eyes yep. like Elvis had. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that would be harder to do. It looks good though. It's a very good yeah. looking bust. Yeah. Like, as far as I'm concerned, they need to keep selling these. Like, yeah. not even as a decanter. They just need to sell this head on. I don't know whatever. Like, uh, I'll also say, as someone who. Uh, does have an Elvis bust in my house. This is the one that is most prominently displayed precisely because it's like 1972 era Elvis, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Not the fifties. I, I like the seventies right. Elvis. Yeah. I like the fifties Elvis too, but the seventies Elvis, there's just something about him, you know? Yeah. Just look at all the different angles. They're just crazy. Yeah. It nails all of them. Yeah. Like there's no, I, I, I've yet to find one where I'm like, no, that doesn't look anything like Elvis. There, there isn't one because, and the, 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 the even like the, even this this extreme angle looks like Elvis. It does. <laughs> it does. That's crazy. They did a good job. Ah, like it would be, it would be interesting to talk to whoever whoever did this. Yeah, we should look into that. See if yeah. they're still around. Is, is this is this well? Okay. It's a McCormick, right? Yeah, I think it's a McCormick, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a McCormick. I got a box for one of these. Okay, the sticker is gone. Yeah. Oh, Let's see, Box Car Enterprises. Yeah, McCormick. McCormick. Still, but that's crazy. It's a box. It's a boxcar product. Had to be licensed by Boxcar because they had exclusive rights to Elvis's non-musical merchandise. We'll have to do a deep dive into Boxcar at some point. That's right. Cool. But that's just, hmm. uh, yeah. That and that's why it's dead center on in the set because it's just so amazingly cool. The um, it's too. It was too cool not to have dead center in the set. Yeah, absolutely. Very careful not to. There we go. Yeah. Back Do we want to get to this guy too? Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's look at the weakest of. Let's oh. look at the weakest link before we get online. <laughs> oof. Just oof. Yeah. There's no. There is no figure in this line that looks good. I tell you, this is the best, in my opinion, this is the best one. And this is, uh, who did these? X Toys. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have one of these. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about this is if you can see the light. I tell you who this looks like to me. Uh, if any of you guys have ever seen the movie Rebel Without a Cause with James Dean, you know, there's the scene where James Dean, uh, he drag races uh, this kid named Buzz, and Buzz flies off the side of the cliff. That looks like Buzz. Okay. So it's it's uh, you know it's a fifties guy. It's not yeah. Elvis. <laughs> so if you want to get a, if you want to get a Buzz figure, and not Lightyear, he's in that uh, he's in that pose because that says he's going over the cliff. <laughs> to over the cliff and beyond. Oh! <laughs> yeah. No, that's not Elvis. No, um, that is not Elvis. I don't have a lot good to say about this. <laughs> no, no. And, and paint I on the suit looks neat. It does. It does. And the um, 
Yeah. Uh, paint job's not fixing this. Paint job's making it worse, but the sculpt is not good. No. Like, they're, they're like I don't, a paint job could, but it's, uh, no. Well, because here's the other thing. The hair, like, we know what pose this is supposed to be. Elvis had the short hair with the, with the coming down the side. This, you know, if you're going to go for a specific pose, why not just, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, this is not Elvis. This is, that is not, uh, that is, yeah, that is Buzz. <laughs> that is Buzz. All right. So now we're going to look at a few Elvis busts that were for sale online that I found. All right. We're going to see how close they get. Okay. And um, here we go. We'll just go one by one and put the photos up on the screen so okay. you guys can judge along with us. Yeah. We'll see if they're we'll see if they're an Elvis bust or just busted. All right, this first one is I uh, I would assume a fifties pose. What do you think, uh, Jamie? Is that Elvis? That is that is like um, that is somebody who watched the Kurt Russell movie because the hair, perhaps the hair, the hair looks very sort of Kurt Russell. I think it looks like Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> It does <laughs> more than like Elvis. It does. The eyes are too far apart. Again, that seems to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, like honestly, the eyes are the are worse than the nose and the mouth. Actually, yeah. The yeah. If you take every everything from the bridge of the nose up is not good. Everything from the the bottom of the bridge of the nose down is actually pretty decent. We can see what they're going for at least. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see the side. No. Okay. Not good. <laughs> Actually, well, the side is, well, not the hair, but the side is better than the front. If you do this. Right. If you do this, you've got as good of a look as the Ricky Nelson one over here. I almost wonder if this. You see, because that, that's that's not bad. Like, yeah, the bridge of the nose down is yeah. the best part of the bust. Definitely. Yeah. I'm going to say that's not Elvis. No, that is. No, that's not Elvis. All right. Let's go for number two here. I tried to get as many pictures. That's his. That's his cousin who does not have Gladys or Vernon's eyes. <laughs> All right. What do you think about this one? Oh dear Lord, no. There's. Uh, let's see. Um, there is no. I just want to see to make sure. Yeah, th there is no angle to where this looks like Elvis. Not even the back. Not even the back of the head. That's the, that's impressive. It's too pinched. Oh, uh, although you know, I kind of think I've seen this guy over at Elvis Week. Walking among the crowd, he does. I yeah, I've seen. There's, I've seen more than a few uh, tribute artists. This looks like there are several. There are several tribute artists that this kind of uh, reminds me of. And no disrespect, I'm just saying. What I will say it doesn't um, look like Elvis. What I will say positive about this is I like the attempt at ornamentation, the lay and the mm -hmm. the jumpsuit beads. Like that's a good idea if it was used in a bust that looked like Elvis. Yeah. Well, they, they maybe they knew they didn't have the sculpt, so they're like, "Well, what can we do?" Well, let, let's... How, how are they going to recognize this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, "Put a guitar and some, you know." This next one is actually a mini bus that's sold by EPE. Let's see. What you okay. Think. That's not bad. It's not bad. That's not bad. Like, uh, like say, like spin out. Okay. Like roughly spin out. Like. That that I don't like the hair. I don't like the shape of the hair, but the profile looks okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, that profile looks very good. That's excellent. That's the best angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's that fine. Guy. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, so if you take so again, a lot. It's funny. Well, the nose. It's funny now. The 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 nose is not bad. Right. The nose looks like Superman. Actually, the whole the bust, whole bust looks, looks like, like Superman. Superman. There is one angle, this profile, that does look like that Elvis. looks like Elvis. And it's the top one's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I would say not not quite Elvis, but very good. We're getting ballparky. We are getting ballparky. All right. Bust number four. This is a fun one. And actually I found a painted and unpainted version of this bust. So we can judge the way that the paint changes how you perceive it. Uh-huh. We'll look at the painted version first. Oh no! <laughs> wow, that's okay. Like I know what they're going for with the scarf tie. Yeah, but for some reason, the only thing I can think of is um, this is uh, 
uh, and maybe the unpainted one we'll see um, this because it kind of like the way it's been uh, sculpted uh -huh. makes him look older. Yes. This, I mean, like older, older, like older than Elvis ever saw older. This, if you did it up differently, would be a great bust of Jacob Marley. <laughs> like, you know, you've seen like, you know, so, so like the patch thing over here and the, yeah. the chains and stuff. It looks like Jacob Marley. Honestly, like I can see an in individual features. If you look at individual features, I yes. can see it. It just doesn't all fit together. Well. No, no. Like, uh, and that's that's one of the difficulties of sculpting Elvis. Like, mm -hmm. they absolutely focused on on his eyes and on the nose mm -hmm. and the mouth. It just doesn't all fit together well. Yeah, but it does look considerably better not painted. I think still not quite Elvis. It does look a lot better not painted, but much better not painted. Well, it's because the way the eyes are painted is what gives it that kind of ghostly weirdness. Right. Um, but if you don't have that, the hair's the 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 hair is the to the, the hairline's too receding. It's um, clearly trying to do like sixty eight comeback era Elvis. Uh, it's yeah, the like the scarf, it's that red suit uh Oh you know, sure, kind of sure, sure, yeah. But the, the the funny thing is, is that the sideburns are not sixty eight comeback. They're a very generous interpretation of it, shall yeah, we say? The, the, like to me, like the pointed, they're they're so pointed. That's more like seventy five. Oh yeah, definitely. The sideburns are more seventy five. But I would I would say like there's enough in the features, even though they don't really blend together the best way. Mm -hmm. I could tell this was trying to be Elvis. Yeah, without that, being told. No, that's true. That's true, and uh, but again, the, the every everything's a little too a little too sharp. Yeah, it's they're trying to bury in those details. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at number five here. This is this is a pretty standard bust for everybody who's looked at Elvis bust for a while. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's pretty good. I've seen this in a few different casts. Um, yeah, there's lots of different materials that it's made with. Yeah, I. That angle doesn't look super elvis That's definitely. That's the weak one. Yeah, that's definitely 61. That's a good angle, though. Yeah, that's definitely 61. That's like something for something for everybody. Ish. Maybe a short. Something for He's everybody. got kind of a chubby face for 61, though. Like, facially, I think it looks more like 56. Just the hair doesn't look like 56. Uh, I don't know. There, no, there, there are certain shots from... There, there are certain shots. Like, if, take... Uh, that hair and put it to follow that dream. Okay, that's about what that. That's about what that looks like. All right, this next one was chipped. I wish I could find a ver an unchipped version. There's also not a whole lot of. Oh God. There's not a whole lot of pictures of it. Okay, but there's a couple. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's open them both up here. All right, what are we thinking about this? Mm. Is that Elvis? No. No. Uh, no, I like not. I like the dramatic scarf. Honestly, idea. All right, even even with the hair, minus the paint. Do you know who 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 looks like to me? Who looks like Neil Diamond? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I, I will say this. It's so funny. It's the eyes for so many of these. Yeah. Co like take your take your take your hand uh -huh. and cover up the eyes and look at from the the tip. Look at from like. Tip of the nose down. Yeah, like, yeah. like that. Look at that. It's not. That's that's less bad. Yeah, that that's that would at least I would know who that is. Uh, this is Neil Diamond. This is yeah. Neil Diamond in a jumpsuit. It's the hair. That, yeah. That's why. No, no, seriously. It is the. That's hair. why it's Neil Diamond. Exactly. Because the hair lying up at the top. But see, if you do that, it takes all that away, and you know. Yeah, uh, I'm still not seeing Elvis. I, I mean, seeing certainly more Elvis than the top half. Yeah, but that's a little far. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> See, that's, okay, let's go to this next one here. All right. Oh, this is a famous one. I have seen this in so many thrift stores and gas stations, I cannot number them all. <laughs> there's a reason. I saw there's a, this is actually uh, in a music store window in town here. Really? Yes. I am sorry. Um, What do we think? I, 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 I yeah. Actually, I have a theory about this one. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I want to hear your thoughts on it first. Um, I, I I like the amount of detail. Oh my God. 
if this is like, and they all look like this too. This is like, you know what? I think what happened is somebody did like somebody did a sculpt uh, of of a '50s Elvis in a '70s jumpsuit, mm -hmm. and the mold got left in the sun. Okay, your your idea is similar to mine. I okay. thought that they maybe sculpted it out of clay and dropped it, but then thought, ah, oh, I spent too long on this. I'm gonna bake it anyway. Because there is there is definitely oh, okay, something yeah. warped about it, you know. It's warped, all right. Uh, no, it, it looks like it's been dropped over on this side. True, yeah. I said, but it also looks like so. <laughs> oh my gosh, just crazy. Oh my goodness, no. Yeah, uh, paint's bad, but the sculpt is also bad. It's all bad. The only thing, the only thing about this, mm -hmm. the only thing this has going for it, is. The dynamic of the scarf and the fact that they put so much time into in the suit. And you know, the other one that we looked at, the Neil Diamond one, mm -hmm. is a takeoff of this. They were yes. trying to go for the same thing. Definitely. Somebody thought they could improve. On I think it. with a better paint job, this could maybe be Wayne Newton. Maybe. Not Elvis. Maybe. The other one is better than this. Oh yeah. It's it's a uh, Ama it's amazing. a halfway to Neil Diamond. Amazingly. Of course it's better. All right. Uh let's see what you think about this one. Okay, this is. I th is this the other? Is this the, is this the one that goes around for a while and then they just cut? No, it's not. <laughs> this, oh. this 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 looks like this looks like someone's attempt at the first at, at the other at the other one that uh, is like the one that Elvis himself had. Yeah, this uh, all right to me. And boy, the paint job. Oof. There's an actor. Uh, I think his name is Danny Houston. He does. Uh, he does. Uh, he's on Yellowstone and stuff. He, okay. This kind of looks like him to me. Tony Curtis. Oh, uh, man, I don't even think it's got Tony. Uh, but wow, the eyebrows on this thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the paint job is, I'm sure, not helping the sculpture beneath it. <laughs> um, no, no. I mean, but I yeah. just don't know. There's, yeah. There's it, just not much Elvis in there. I, I, I think it would be better, uh, if we, yeah, like, because that's, that's, you know, if I can imagine it not painted, yeah. from beneath the eyes, yeah, it's it, hard to get Elvis's eyes right, y'all. It is, it just is. All right, let's look at number nine here. Hmm. This is definitely a different bust. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Um. Grandpa Elvis. I, I think it's supposed to be 68 comeback. It is. It is, yeah. suppo it is supposed to be. There's certain... Boy, like, this angle, is, it's better the, than the, the well we alive in. The, that paint job is just not doing that many favors. But the, no, the, it's not. But the eyes are not... The eyes are not right. The eyes are way too far apart. This is somebody who... This is, this is someone who has... Who has uh, sculpted like... You know the old person statues, mm -hmm. and that just kind of once you like that's their style. Yeah, I wonder if they if this started as an old person sculpt and they just said, you know, what, we're gonna make this Elvis. Uh, no, I I think this is actually somebody who's just used to that style because it's it's the same paint job too, and and it's just not what they're used to. Consistently, like the lower half of the face is better than the upper half on these. Yeah, it's. Still the still not good. Yeah, still not That's, Elvis. Actually, you know what? The lower the lower half of the face because of the way the lips are painted. Yeah, kind of looks like you know when Elvis has kind of got that kind of like you know kind of. Let's see. Yeah, uh, see what you think about this one. This is a great bust of DJ Fontana. <laughs> it does look like DJ. It does. It looks it looks like DJ. I mean, I should, you know, I should know. I spent a lot of time with DJ. That's better. That's it's better from that angle. The nose is way too long. Yeah. Um, if you could have shortened the nose and brought the eyes down some, which you can't do this kind of editing when you're sculpting in the round. Like it's just very hard to do. Right. Um It's DJ. That's DJ. It looks a lot like Dominic Joseph. It does. It does. This wow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That looks like it's DJ. That's what it is. Yeah, there's also somebody else that I'm thinking of, but I can't I, the Maybe David Schwimmer. <laughs> the, like the Marlboro Man? No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's DJ. 
All that's right. A, that's a great bust of DJ. Let's go to the next one. This is bust number 11. <laughs> I've seen these before. For someone who's not a fan of details. No. No. Or, or, or accuracy. That's not terrible. It's way too round, though. Oh, yeah. This is this is this is uh, this is if uh, go to the first one again. Um, so th- this is if um, I tell you what this reminds me of. Right, this is not Elvis, but if you've ever seen the movie Pod People, yeah, the Pod People start in this sort of uh, larval state. Yeah, and they slowly form into humans. Oh, so this is in like, in in, yeah. in a few more hours. This might be Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Something he's just waiting to emerge yeah. from the egg. This is if uh, this is if Johnny Hera were a cherub, like <laughs> <laughs> you can quote quote, quote Jamie on that. You can quote me yeah. on that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Send your hate mail to. Anyway. All right. Let's see what you think about this one. I know exactly who this reminds me of. Let's see if you have the same reaction. Um, Michael Shannon. Exactly. It looks like Michael Shannon. This is a bust of, this is a bust Michael, of Shannon Michael Shannon as Elvis. And yeah. quite good at it. Yeah, it is. I would have also accepted Javier Bardem. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, and it's one of those things. And Conway Twitty. <laughs> and Conway Twitty. Yeah. This is, wow, yeah, this person... Like this is one of those things that um, this is stylized in such a fashion that it's not as offensive. To right. Me. Like I, I know it doesn't look like Elvis necessarily, but it's not bad. But my first thought was Michael Shannon. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Totally. All right. This is the last one we got. Um, Y'all still awake out there? <laughs> it says Elvis on it. It says Elvis on there. So clearly, clearly they felt they needed to. Um, what is is it? I think this is some sort of uh, decanter or something, but it's not a. It looks McCormick. hollow. It looks like it's hollow. It does look hollow. Yeah. Or it could have just been painted over with that resin stuff. I think it. I think it is hollow. But I don't know. Yeah. Not Elvis. Um. Not. I don't even think it's particularly close in any way. This. I think this is. Um, for, for those of us uh, who are, who grew up in the '80s, I think this is uh, Don Flamenco from Mike Tyson's Punch Up. <laughs> All right. So yeah, he just needs like uh, he does have a pop uh, like a, a tall collar. He does have a That's tall the collar. that and the name Elvis are the two recognizable Elvis traits. <laughs> if that was the case, then the head we're going to talk about later is a much higher bar. Than this. <laughs> the uh, oh my gosh. So um, no, uh, let's see. Is it? Uh, uh, okay, um, the, 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 maybe the Count from uh, Viva Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah, yeah, because that because it's, it's just so long. The face is just so long. It's very long. It's very long and unElvis like. I almost wonder if this one was being sculpted and then got stretched before it was cast. It could be, yeah, or if it was like maybe blown glass. There's somebody something like just, it, somebody just, just from this one angle right there around the face. If you just limit it to that, if you cut out literally seventy five percent of the head <laughs> and just what just look at this little little sliver of a face, it kind of, sort of, maybe resembles <laughs> Elvis, right? <laughs> you have to really want it. <laughs> and I clearly I don't like I like it, you. Uh, <laughs> If it's midnight and you'd started <laughs> you'd started drinking at two in the afternoon. <laughs> and then you cover up two thirds of it and then you squint. And you might have drunk everything looks like hell. Let's go on, man. Uh, yeah, see, but it doesn't a lot even, of tribute artists. Like the same there. thing. If you cover up seventy five percent of the face oh. from this angle, it doesn't work. It's only the one it's angle. It's just the one angle. Everything else looks like uh everything else like yeah, was it Count Marlowe? I can't think of it. I don't know, man. It doesn't yeah, look like anybody yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, this is a great depiction of Ichabod Crane. No. Uh, oh, man. Well, that's all the ones I got for today. Oof. Uh, Which was your favorite? 
tell us in the comments below. Yes, yes. Which one was your favorite? I know which one is. I, I know which two are mine. It's that one and that one. Um, with that one is honorable mention. Um, but there's a, you know some of these uh, some of the some of the dolls are are pretty good and it's good to see you know it's interesting it I will say this as a from an artistic standpoint um, I mean and you've done 3D model work oh, and yeah, stuff absolutely and it's hard to get it's very hard it's hard to get all the angles you should just 3D you should just 3D scan that bad boy <laughs> and use that as a starting point um, but uh, yeah. Um, anyway, if there's, if there's one you'd like us to take a look at or a whole bunch you'd like us to take a look at, send us the pictures. We'd love to see it. Um, and, uh, these are, it's, it's, some of that is Elvis history that we have, uh, well, we've saved the pictures. We're going to stop there. Um, but, uh, we're always on the lookout for, uh, various things, uh, during Elvis's life and also after. Um, so there's a lot of history. Because all of these different things are pieces of Elvis history, and we would hate for them to be lost to history. And that's part of what the Elvis Archival Preservation Society is for. If you would like to support these endeavors, uh, please watch the ads that go with the video. That helps a little bit. Uh, you can like, share, comment, subscribe. You can find us on Instagram, where we're the most active. Also, Facebook and Twitter. Um, and the best way that you can support us, if you would like, help us grow the channel, help us do all of these things that we want to do. We want to do live events. So we can meet you all and share in all this Elvis knowledge and geek out together. It'd be a whole heck of a lot of fun. The best way that you can do that and help us grow it fastest is by becoming a member of the Elvis Archival Preservation Society. Go to eapsociety.com and click on become a member. That will take you to patreon.com forward slash EAP Society, where you can become a monthly member. And we've got, uh, so everything from affordable on up, uh, so that if the more support that you can give us, the faster we can grow the channel, the faster we can do all of these things, and the more stuff we can show you guys, and the more stuff we can possibly get out for uh, public consumption legally, so that way other people can enjoy these things. So again, they are not lost to history, because we think that that's really important, and uh, as Elvis fans, I know we're very sure that you do too. And we have a whole lot more fun stuff. Members get stuff early. They get extended things. There's a piece that we're going to have as an addendum to this that only members get to see. Uh, they get to see the extended cuts of, uh, of the episodes. All that stuff you get by becoming a member. And, uh, and again, if you can't, totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe, spread the word. We need as many people to see this as possible so we can grow these endeavors. So we can have sit-down conversations. And this is cool. It may not be Elvis, but we've got a couch for the version two of this set. Tell them about it. Yeah, I've got a couch um, that basically looks exactly like the one at Graceland. It's smaller, yeah, but it has the Which same covering. Yeah, has the same covering, and uh, I believe was bought from the same store in the '60s. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So freaking cool. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, it's going to take funding to bring that bad boy up here. So if you can. Uh, uh, become a member and do everything that you can to help support the channel and help us grow. We have so many things that we want to do. We want to bring people up here that were around Elvis. We want to hear their stories and ask them questions that they have not been asked before. So again, those memories and those moments are not lost in history. And so uh, everything that you can do to support that would be wonderful. We would absolutely love that. Until next time, I am Jamie. And I'm John. Thank you for checking out the EAP Society. Till next time, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And always, TCB. My society, my society, here with all the friends I want to see. Don't need no high society to get me where I want to be. My society, yeah, that's for me. My society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society, yeah, that's for me.